When you import a Mixamo animation into Blender, and it doesn't matter what animation it is, or if it's with skin or without it, the mesh is not going to have any transforms, but the armature will be downscaled to 0.01 and rotated on the x-axis by 90 degrees. And in most cases, this will probably be fine, but if you try to do something with the mesh, like apply some modifiers on it, maybe create a ragdoll from it, you might run into some issues because it is a part of the armature, which has that scale of 0.01. .01. And sometimes for uh, things that you do with the mesh to work properly, you need to apply that scale on the armature. The issue is that if you do that, so control A, apply scale. The first problem is that the character now is in a much different place and you know that's not too difficult to resolve we can bring it back to where it was before and so now the scale is correct the position is correct but if we were to play the animation it's you know it's fairly broken and the way we can fix that is quite simple so you get the armature you go to graph editor search for hips get the xyz location shift h normalize to bring it back into view and here we can see why this is happening. So I'm just going to bring out this measure tool. You can see that the size of this armature, I mean, it's 1.8 meters in height. But if you look at these values here for the XYZ location, you can see that they go as high as 100 meters or minus 200. And remember, these values represent basically the position of of this character so if i were to select just the z location and press g and y you can see it affects the position and so what we need to do with these values is downscale them because originally the armature was at a scale of 0 0.01 we applied that and so we essentially downscaled it by 100 so we need to do the exact same Thing for these locations so select all of them press s y and type 0 0.01 so we're multiplying it by 0 0.01 which is the same as dividing it by 100 and now it's going to be well it's again going to fly away so we can bring it back to the center There's probably more efficient ways to do this, and I'm not doing something like, uh, you know, origin to cursor because the origin is in a much different place. But if we play the animation now, you can see that it is exactly what we had before, except that now the scale is one. And I mean, with that, we can we can apply all transforms and so now the mesh has no transforms the armature has no transforms and the animation plays perfectly fine like it was before so i hope that helps because it took me like three hours to figure out